hi all welcome back to my channel so today in the session we are going to learn what are triggers in azure data factory how many type of the triggers and how we can implement the triggers in automate to automate our pipelines in azure data factory so basically as i told the triggers is being used in azure data factory instance to automate your pipeline okay so basically we have uh, these many triggers available in azure data factory we have a uh, manual triggers schedule triggers storage event triggers custom event triggers and tumbling window triggers so in this session we'll understand the manual triggers and schedule triggers in the next session we will understand the storage event trigger and in the next we'll understand the tumbling window triggers so let's get st uh, started so here if you can see this is my portal and i have opened my blob storage in the next step and data factory instance in the next step so what I'm uh, going to do, I have already created a pipeline. If I can show you this pipeline is moving or copying the pipe from the input folder to the output folder in the blob. Okay, so I can show you my blob storage. This is my blob storage. I'll click on the blob storage. And here if you can see, I have two folders, input and output. So input is having few files, which I'm going to copy from here to output folder so if I go back and see if there are any file in the output folder I cannot see any file so that the me the, the thing is that we are going to copy the files from the input folder to output folder okay so this is the agenda of our pipeline which has already been created here so I've already created a pipeline to save the time because uh, uh, the agenda of this session is to understand the triggers not the pipeline if you wanted to know how to create a pipeline and do all this stuff uh, you can uh, go to the my previous sessions and there I have uh, very well covered this topic okay so this is my pipeline which I am going to automate using the triggers so if you can see there uh, as I told that I have uh, in triggers we have a manual trigger so when I say manual triggers that means if you see here and we can add the triggers from this option okay the, uh, there are a number of ways by which we can run the pipeline if we can, uh, if I uh, say there is a debug so this is actually to check whether everything is went fine or uh, when we develop the pipeline and we wanted to check if everything is fine and we wanted to debug it in that case you can use this it will trigger uh, uh, it will run your pipeline and you can see the output here itself okay if i click it let me click and show you if i click on it okay so what will happen your pipeline will debug it uh, will start it and you can see the output window here itself in the user interface in the canvas see so when i click on it you can see i got this uh, output and my pipeline is running i got one auto generated id generated for the pipeline run id and it is queued so currently it is queued this is the symbol of queued and if i refresh it it will be either succeeded or failed in depending on the code which I have done okay so this is succeeded that means this is the one way by which you can run your pipeline and you can see the output right away in the canvas here okay if you want to see confirm whether it is uh, the file has been moved or not just go to the output folder and see here see the file has been moved so what I am going to do I am going to delete it one more time I am going to delete this one more time and here this is the one thing by which we can run the pipeline if you wanted to add uh, run it through the triggers so if you select this option okay trigger now so that means on the basis that means this is the option for the manual trigger so we are triggering this pipeline through the manually so let me click on this and see it is asking for the parameters if the parameters is there in the uh, pipeline level then you have to provide it but in case uh, uh, but in my case i have not uh, provided and I, I have not used any parameter so this is fine click on ok so now if you see when we do the manual trigger it is saying that successfully running here you can see the uh, pipeline run okay so this is the debug run so where we can find it out the uh, uh, like uh, the output of the manual trigger so here is an option you can go to the monitor okay these are all my old uh, triggers 
Just wait for a second. There will be a manual trigger if you can see. See here. Uh, in the pipeline run, if you see, this is your, we have run our pipeline. So, dip, see the pipeline, the name of the pipeline is copy blob input output. We have run in the debug mode. So, debug will be logged here. You can see this is the pipeline and it ran uh, here. Okay, this one. And if you have run using the manual trigger, it will be logged here. You can see pipeline run, run start, run end duration and it is, this is the main thing. You can see that it is triggered by the manual trigger. Okay. So this way you can trigger your pipeline and you can see the status of your manual trigger pipelines here inside the monitor tab. Now if I go here, so this is our uh, manual trigger. If you wanted to create a schedule trigger on this pipeline, that means if you wanted to schedule this pipeline, you wanted this activity to be performed every five minutes, every 10 minutes, okay, uh, first day of a month or, or like that, all those stuff. Uh, so you can create there is a second option which is new and added. So here you can go and choose a trigger. If you have already created a uh, trigger, you can choose it from. Or if you not, then you can create a, uh, uh, you can click on this plus icon and you can create a trigger. So um, there is one more option from where we can cre create a trigger and we can choose the trigger from uh, this drop down. Okay. So let me, uh, that is, uh, that is from here. If you wanted to create a trigger, you can go to the manage tab here you can create a trigger if you see this is the triggers option as we can create a link service through the pipeline and uh, uh, similar way we can create a trigger from the pipeline or we can create a trigger from this manage tab so this is an option and they, they, there we have a new uh, you know plus icon so here if you click you can give the name and you can then attach your trigger to your pipeline or there is another way that we were doing it we go to the author Against our pipeline, I wanted to create a trigger. So just click on new button and the same interface will come here to create a trigger. So let me give a name and this would be my schedule trigger. Okay. So here if you see this, there is an option which type of the triggers you wanted to uh, create on this pipeline. So I have a schedule trigger, tumbling window trigger, storage events and custom event. Okay, so let me select the schedule trigger. I wanted to schedule it. This is the timing if you see. I want it and this is the UTC timing. You can change the time zone as well. But uh, uh, better will, um, as of now I am keeping the default value. And here if you see the main thing that we need to understand is the recurrence. So this is not only in the minutes. If you see, you can recur, uh, you can uh, automate your pipeline on the basis of minutes, in the hours, days, and weeks. Suppose I wanted to uh, run this pipeline every day once. So click on days, and I wanted only for one day. So, so what will happen? So it will be, it will automate my pipeline every one day. Okay, every day for once. If I wanted to run my pipeline in a day twice, okay, one in morning and one in evening like that. So it will be like that. If you wanted to, this is a weekly pipeline, suppose. So if you, if you, uh, if it is said that it is a weekly pipeline, you have to schedule it on a weekly basis. So you have to select week, okay, week and once. Suppose I wanted to run this pipeline once in every day. So this is fine. Uh, in week, then we have a days. Uh, okay, you wanted to execute this pipeline every day, then this is once in a day, then this is that. And if you select the week, once in a week, okay, like that. And if you wanted to hourly basis the pipeline, if you wanted to create this pipeline or execute it uh, on hourly basis, then you can select R and you can make it as one. Okay, for now, I cannot, um, I am I, using this minute so that it will be visible to us. So let's suppose I turn it for uh, three minutes. Okay, I wanted my pipeline to be executed every three minutes. So and I and uh, and we need if you uh, and we need to specify the date and time. It depends. Uh, suppose you have a requirement that you wanted to execute every day uh, endless. There is no specify. There is no end date. Though then in that case you can remove it. Okay, so it will be executed every day. 
uh, like that. But if you have a requirement that you have to uh, execute for uh, specified timing, then you can uh, give the end date as well. So I have a specified timing because I'm just doing the demo purpose. I, I don't want my pipeline to be run endless. So uh, this is the timing. If you see, it will start, it should start from uh, 9 July. Uh, this is the time. Okay, this is the by default time. And I wanted to end it to this uh, suppose 22. This is fine. And here, if you see, uh, I don't want to use any annotation. This is fine. And the, this is an option if you see start triggers on creation. Okay, you wanted to start this trigger as soon as it is created. That means you wanted this trigger to run to apply on the pipeline the moment it got created and the pipeline will run after every three minutes. Uh, that is the uh, thing that you wanted then you can check it or if you wanted to create a trigger first and later on after discussion with the management what is the uh, should be started or not. Okay, that in that case you can click this icon later on. If you have a discussion with the management okay uh, sometimes it happens in the projects that we have to create a triggers but we do not need to start it as of now we have to um, uh, get the sign up from the client or like that so in that case you can create the triggers but do not check this in that case the triggers will be created but it will be in stop mode okay so let me but for now i will use this i wanted to uh, my pipeline to run okay after every three minutes so let me do this as my pipeline don't have any parameters so this is fine click on ok and the very important thing that we need uh, to know about the triggers that we have to publish it otherwise it will not save so there is an icon you can you can see here one change you have made that may that means it is saying that one triggers you have created you have to publish it okay so this is my trigger click on publish what will happen when we publish it will save the definition of our resources which we have just created in the data factory live mode if you see here in the data factory live mode we have not uh, set up the git repository to the data factory that is why uh, we have uh, just published directly in the uh, data factory live mode see we will get the notification that published uh, uh, published happen and as soon as they got published so everything is went fine that icon that yellow icon uh, go away and you can see that number one okay number one means that one pipeline it says that um, the pipeline in the trigger schedule trigger is having many to many relationship when i say many to many relationship that uh, one pipeline can be used by the multiple trigger okay and one trigger can be used uh, to trigger the multiple pipelines okay suppose i have one more pipelines and i also and uh, i have a requirement that that pipeline also need to re reoccur in every three minutes then what i'm going to do i'll create only one trigger and i'll attach my both pipelines with this triggers okay when i say attach how you can attach you can go here okay and you can uh, or you can do how we can not from here go back to your uh, manage See here, this is trigger is started. You can get all the tr schedule triggers, uh, all the triggers which you have created in the pipeline. You can get the definition here in the triggers. Okay, and this is the starting mode and related. Related means that this trigger is related to which pipeline. So here you can see this trigger is being used by the following. By the following means that we can create the one trigger and it can be used to the multiple pipelines. So if I create one more pipeline and I wanted to use uh, uh, to get trigger by this trigger. So what I'm going to do, I'll use it. I'll attach that uh, pipeline with the trigger and I'll get instead of number one, I'll get the number two. And when I click it, all the pipelines will be listed down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I need to go to monitor and see whether it executed or not. So see in, if you see here, earlier when I show you this uh, uh, trigger pipeline, you can, uh, you have seen the only manual trigger. Okay, now if you can see, this is the very first, uh, now it, my trigger schedule is working fine. My pipeline got run and it got succeeded as well. Last time I deleted my uh, files from the output folder. Let me check to confirm whether the pipeline run using the trigger. Go to the output. And here if you can see, see the file files has been loaded here. So timing is 442.8. Here if you see 442. So this pipeline I have not debugged it. I have not run manually. I just 
create the trigger schedule create the schedule trigger and make it active and then i wait for the three minutes and it got executed let again wait for the three minutes and see it executed at 442 so ideally it will execute at 442 45 45 let me refresh and see and we have 444 so we have to wait one more uh, minute and then it will be triggered you can see the uh, you can see the logs here the status of your pipeline so it is very easy to create a schedule trigger these were my previous pipeline which i have created and do it if you wanted and here if you see you wanted to see this uh, you can export this uh, logs as well if you wanted to see the and export it so there is an option to export it and you want to, if you wanted to generate a report you can create that as well so let me refresh one more time it's 445 and see here you can see earlier it was 442 it executed after three uh, minutes again it executed 445 the 14 second now go to the output and refresh it and see earlier it executed at uh, 442 now refresh it in the output folder of your blob storage account to see whether the new file is been created or not see it is the 445 12 okay so earlier it was 442 so it will uh, actually it, uh, it is overwriting the file okay so this is the way you can create a pi, uh, triggers so here also you can create one triggers from here like uh, schedule trigger you can create and there is uh, one thing i think which i have not covered here let me go to the your trigger or i can open the triggers from here also so click on your trigger it will open the definition and there is an advanced option if you wanted to deactivate okay so simply you have to just click on stop and click on ok and publish it then it will be stopped okay in that case you can stop your triggers okay so but if you stop the triggers you have to publish it otherwise it will not be uh, going to save uh, the definition of your triggers okay and if you wanted to again restart so there is an option that you can click on uh, again you can this is an option start this is an icon you can start your trigger from here and it got started okay if you wanted to pause it there is an icon you can pause it so this way you can do it and whatever the changes you made to your trigger make sure that you publish it all publish it and if you go to the uh, author tab see it is publishing so this way you can run uh, you can create your pipeline and you can uh, attach your pipeline to the triggers you can create the triggers from here and you can create the triggers from your manage tab as well so this way you can create a uh, schedule trigger for your pipelines and you you can schedule your uh, pipelines uh, on the uh, i mean uh, on the basis of your requirement like uh, as I show you in the demo, like 15 minutes occurs every uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, like that. There is one option, uh, one thing that I wanted to show, uh, I wanted to show you that in this trigger, schedule triggers, you cannot select the back dates. Uh, although if you select the back date, you can select the back dates, but what will happen? It will select, uh, it will start from the future timing as only. Okay, so this is the thing that we, that is the constraint with a schedule trigger. It will be taken from, it uh, your pipeline will be uh, scheduled from the current dates to the future dates, but it will not take your back date. Okay, so that is the main uh, thing with a, or main constraint with a schedule trigger. So this is the one thing that we have to keep in mind. So I think uh, uh, you are very uh, much clear about the triggers. Uh, schedule trigger in the basically the schedule triggers in the next session i will cover what is the storage event triggers okay uh, till then uh, bye bye happy learning